This is Rob Turbot for Boxing Social. In association with Betfred, we're here in Las Vegas at the Tyson Fury Otto Valin press conference. Something a bit different today, joined by somebody who I'm a fan of myself, Killian. People on Twitter, boxing fans all around the world will recognise this man's wonderful artwork. Killian, Thanks. great to meet you finally. I've been a big fan of your work for a long time. Tell me about your new painting. Thanks, man. I appreciate that. Uh, I just thought after the last fight, you know, you had such a, a good... Um, stoppage win coming the way the way that he came out in those shorts and stuff just wanted to capture it and I thought it was nice to get Bob in there as well seen Frank earlier mind <laughs> he was all right about it but um, I just, yeah and you know just wanted to capture that you know that moment of him uh, champion raising the hand and a bit of bit of abstractness bit of uh, realism I'm pleased with it you know Gypsy King captured it well, I think I'll speak for all of our viewers and say it's a very, very nice piece. How long would something like this take you to do? Do you know what? It, it literally all depends on uh, my time scale, what I'm doing. i got a number of other things on the go. Um, I might spend a couple of hours on something, work on something else, come back to this over a few days, uh, even a week, month sometimes. But this piece, because I, I didn't have long, um, it was a good few days. Um, and... You know, it, yeah, it just, it, it really depends really on the different um, pieces that I'm doing and working on and what else I've got to get done in that time, you know, so. Okay, I'm just going to ask you just to move just slightly closer that yeah. way. There you go. So that means I've got you in shot. That's brilliant. That's the money shot right there. Um, how long have you been painting for? Was it always sport that you were interested in? Was it well, a sport that came later? I've always... I've been painting all my life since I was a kid, but then I, I, um, I left college in uh, 1995. Um, painting, I've been painting since then. Um, uh, the, the sports, I was boxing. I was boxing in 1995. Um, so it, the, the art and the boxing was like an interest that I, I just took it upon myself to, that's the passion that I had. I, I went down that route. Very very tempted to turn pro 97 um, with Enzo Calzaghi uh, God love him he's gone now um, but my hands were killing uh, I've, I've said the story before but my hands were hurting and I just thought you know I'm, gonna, I'm just going to pursue the art career and uh, just see where that takes me and um, you know it's, it's been it's been great you know it's, I, I sort of created um, my own opportunities in some sense um, just getting out there and doing doing the passion, the, the, the fighters that I love and just trying to capture their journey as well, you know. Yeah, I think, uh, it's, again, I'm, just, I'm not just saying this. I am a fan of your work. I'm, I've endorsed your work for, for a long time now. You are somebody, you put out a lot of stuff very, very regularly. Um, talk to me about the first, do you remember the first fighter that you ever painted or the, the first well, fighter that you know, took an interest in painting? Yeah, it probably would have been Tyson, you know, but not uh, Mike Tyson. <laughs> Mike Tyson. Yeah. yeah. But, because uh, I, I followed him since a 12-year-old and probably he was one that, sort of got me into boxing I would, I would think from as a 12 year old you know seeing that the difficult background that he came from the story of with Customato and yeah it was very engaging you know and, and um, obviously the Rocky films as well you know I remember having that one of those punch balls you stand on I always had one of them jabbing and stuff when I was a kid and um, so you know he was probably one of the first that I did capture uh, as a watercolour where that's gone I'm not sure but uh and I just just kept on with it, you know, as a, as since as a kid, you know, it, it's always been there, like the boxing and the, but then the sp different sports as well. But I would say I'm probably more known for the boxing because that's the passion I have, and I follow it more. So. Do you have a favourite painting that you've done over the years, or is it too difficult to pick just one? I, I, the fight in Irishmen was probably a big thing for me. Um, it was the first big commission I really had from a, 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 a real estate company, uh, a realtors in uh, New York back in 2006. Um, Jim Houlihan of uh, Houlihan Pans, they commissioned me to do a piece. They were doing an exhibition on the fight in Irishman um, and going back from like the, back in the days of bare knuckle fighting, the last sort of bare knuckle era fights, you know, Jake Kilrain, um, John L. Sullivan, the last bare knuckle fight. And that's captured in the painting. And then that, that uh, exhibition of Irish and American fighters travelled the world from 2006 to 2013. So 
that was a that was a, a big thing at the, at the time. Um, but it's just nice now capturing, you know, all the the big names out there, you know. How do you come up with the idea to paint someone? Is it just inspiration strikes? You look at kind of the boxing calendar. The funny thing is, I've done a few long pieces like this now, and I, and I, I, I think the first long piece like this I did was a Pele piece. Did it live at a Pele evening, and Pele signed it on the night, and I and I just like that, you know, the odd shape. And when I see a, a, an image, that I can probably use it as a long. I just like it because it's a little bit different. And I've done a few with it, a few like this now, in this shape, you know. And it just captures captures it. Uh, I don't know if you've seen the time lapse piece of this as well. Yes, yeah, 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 yeah. It's, it's just nice yeah. to capture it and see how it's being, see it being building up in colour and create, create it, you know. Okay. Well, final question before I go. We are here in Las Vegas for Tyson Fury's fight with Otto Valin. What's your prediction on Saturday night? <laughs> he's probably he's gonna want. I mean, I don't know a lot about this Valin. He's undefeated. There was a no contest. I don't know what happened there, but um, he's undefeated. He's got 13 knockouts. You'd, that's the beauty of boxing. I've said it many a time that you know we just never know. But I'd say he's stoppage. He's going to be looking for a, a good performance again in Vegas. Um, yeah. Okay. Well, just before we go, Killian, um, I follow you across all social media platforms, but I'm sure some of our viewers, shame on them, don't. So, how do they go about following you across social media to keep up with your work? Thanks, man. Um, Killian underscore Art A R T on um, Instagram, Patrick J Killian on Twitter, and um, I'm, I'm on a few other things, Facebook and uh, different stuff. Type me in, I, I'll come up somewhere. Okay. Well. Killian Art, thanks very much for speaking to Boxing Social. Real pleasure to finally meet you. It's been years and years in the making. Um, Keep up the fantastic work and look forward to catching up with you soon. Thanks a lot. Thank you. Thanks very much.